Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. A debate on workplace attire has been reignited on TikTok following a post shared by Tyreshia Morgan, a 28-year-old Californian who revealed she got dress-coded by a job recruiter when she showed up to an interview wearing shorts. However, Morgan didn't immediately get rejected for the position, rather, she was given the opportunity to go home, change and reschedule the interview for another day. Despite being given a second chance, she declined. During an exclusive interview with our channel, Morgan opened up about her experience with the job recruiter that day and explained her reasoning to stand by her outfit choice, which was questioned when the last-minute job interview arose. That day I was doing some job hunting. I saw that the recruiter emailed me around 10 a.m., Morgan tells our channel exclusively. We sat on the phone for 30 minutes and then we scheduled an interview the same day. Morgan says that she was being considered for a position at a tech company, an industry and office culture she's familiar with having worked in tech before elsewhere. The interaction with the job recruiter went like this, we sat down and did an intake, like a briefing. She asked me a few questions. I told her my background and experience. She really wanted me to meet the manager so we can get an offer on the table, Morgan explains. She went back and spoke with the manager and the manager said, I would like to show her around the building, go over more details in the interview, but she's in shorts so I can't do that, so she'll have to come back, she continues. Morgan was given the opportunity to go home, change and reschedule the interview, but she chose not to. The recruiter just basically rejected me because I was wearing this. I ended up canceling the second interview. I wasn't feeling that, she says of why she didn't go back. Meanwhile, Morgan says she didn't think her outfit was out of any type of professional dress code. She recalls, I thought I looked neat. I said in my TikTok I would show up to an interview like this. I felt like the shorts were appropriate. The internet kind of blew up after that. In the viral TikTok, which has racked up 5.8 million views since it was posted on August 14th, Morgan is seen showing off her interview outfit at home. She wore a white sweater over a solid white top that was tucked into her black shorts, accessorized with black framed glasses and her hair pulled back into a sleek bun. I took a shower, got dressed, I had just got done doing laundry and I saw those pieces sitting there, Morgan recalls of her outfit picking process. I almost put on a blazer, but it was so hot that day. I took the blazer off and put on a cardigan and I was like, I look very neat. I looked demure. I was going over the whole TikTok verbatim and I felt confident, she says, referring to Jules Lebron's now viral phrase. As for whether Morgan had any doubts about opting for shorts prior to the interview? No, she admits. And despite being asked to go home and change, she says she wasn't offended. I was standing by my outfit, Morgan says. I thought I looked very professional. Although the shorts were a little bit above fingertips. They weren't shorts that were too short. So I just felt like I looked okay for a professional environment. Morgan tells our channel that commenters on her TikTok video are split over whether her outfit is professional workplace attire. Some people are saying it's considered inappropriate, but there's about 20% or more people that are saying they see nothing wrong with my outfit. She also notes that some commenters are criticizing her decision to pass on the second opportunity at interviewing for the position. But I don't feel regretful, Morgan says. However, when asked if she'd opt for shorts for another job interview in the future, she says, probably not. I don't like to be turned away and waste my time and waste other people's time, she explains. Morgan, who notes she's currently in the onboarding process for a new job, adds, I would definitely respect the company and their dress code policies and make sure I'm in the proper attire.